Oh my gosh, look at that. I just bought the coolest art from a vending machine. But this vending machine didn't start out selling art. Actually, it sold cigarettes. It's called the Artomat. It's the most retro name that's trying to sound futuristic. It's located at St. Kate the Arts Hotel in Milwaukee. So much more than a vending machine. It's, um, it's an art experience, but it's also an art object in itself. For just $5, you can get a painting, jewelry, statue, print, and so much more. It's all the size of or fits in an old cigarette-shaped box, since that's the only thing the machine is capable of dispensing. Since the St. Kate opened in 2019, the Artomat has been a huge hit. We've sold almost 10,000 pieces. There are actually more Artomats in Wisconsin than the one at the St. Kate. Hit the highway and head over to Wales. <laughs> it is a beautiful day outside. And you will find another even older Artomat. This Artomat in Wales was built in 1957. I had um, several people from California come in. They came to Wisconsin and they just drove east and were trying to hit as many Artomats as they could. The machine is at Timberlane Studio and Gallery. They've sold about 500 pieces since last April. And there's another at the Mead Public Library in Sheboygan. In fact, there are more than 100 Artomats across the world. The first one was built by Clark Whittington in 1997. He refurbished an old cigarette vending machine in North Carolina after those became illegal, and it turned out to be a hit. Today, all the art inside the machines is supplied by different artists from around the world. To lease an Artomat, it costs a few thousand dollars, or special arrangements can be made depending on the circumstances. These machines aren't big money makers either. To stock the vending machine, it costs $2.50 for one block plus shipping. But it's not about making a buck. It's about having fun with art. It's so unique. It's so different. I've never seen anything like this. The Artomat just makes art accessible. You can just walk into the hotel, the studio, or the library, and for $5, you can become an art collector, and I think that's pretty cool. James Grow, TMJ4 News.